Once upon a time, in a vibrant forest filled with tall trees and colorful flowers, there lived two birds named Polly the Parrot and Peter the Pigeon. They were the best of friends despite being different species. Polly was a splendid parrot with feathers of emerald green, sapphire blue, and sunshine yellow. She was known far and wide for her melodious voice and her knack for mimicking sounds. Peter, on the other hand, was a simple pigeon with gray feathers speckled with white. He wasn't as colorful as Polly, but he was kind-hearted and wise. One sunny morning, Polly and Peter decided to explore the forest together. They soared through the sky, laughing and chatting as they admired the beauty of nature around them. Suddenly, they heard a faint cry for help coming from the ground below. Curious, Polly and Peter swooped down to investigate. There, they found a baby squirrel trapped in a thorny bush, unable to free itself. The poor squirrel was frightened and in pain. Without hesitation, Polly and Peter worked together to carefully untangle the squirrel from the thorns. With Polly's sharp beak and Peter's gentle touch, they managed to set the baby squirrel free. Grateful and relieved, the baby squirrel thanked Polly and Peter for their kindness. The news of their heroic deed spread quickly throughout the forest, and soon, Polly and Peter became known as the bravest and most compassionate birds in the land. From that day on, Polly and Peter continued to explore the forest, helping any creature in need that they came across. Whether it was rescuing a trapped butterfly or guiding a lost fox back to its den, Polly and Peter were always there to lend a helping wing. Their friendship and selflessness taught the other animals in the forest an important lesson, that kindness knows no bounds and that true friendship can overcome any differences. And so, Polly the parrot and Peter the pigeon lived happily ever after, their bond growing stronger with each passing day, as they continued to spread love and goodwill throughout the forest. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled among rolling hills, there lived an old woman named Granny Agnes. She was known far and wide for her kindness, wisdom, and love for animals. Her cozy cottage was surrounded by a lush garden where she grew vegetables, herbs, and flowers. One sunny morning, Granny Agnes was tending to her garden when she noticed a plump, speckled hen pecking at the ground. He hen's feathers were as soft as a cloud, and her eyes sparkled with curiosity. Granny Agnes named her Henrietta and welcomed her into her home. Henrietta loved spending time with Granny Agnes. She would follow her around, clucking happily as Granny weeded the flower beds or harvested ripe tomatoes in return, Granny Agnes would share her meals with Henrietta, feeding her corn, grains, and juicy worms. She believed that such an egg would bring joy to Granny Agnes's heart. One day, as Granny Agnes sat by the fireplace, sipping her chamomile tea, Henrietta approached her with a determined look in her eyes. She fluffed her feathers and settled into a cozy nest made of straw. Cluck, cluck, Henrietta said, as if announcing her intentions. Granny Agnes chuckled and patted her gently. What's the matter, my dear Henrietta? Are you ready to lay an egg? Henrietta nodded vigorously. She closed her eyes, focused her energy, and pushed with all her might. And there it was, a small, perfectly round egg, glowing with a soft golden hue. It was unlike any egg Granny Agnes had ever seen. Granny Agnes cradled the egg in her hands, marveling at its beauty. Oh, Henrietta, she whispered, this is a magical egg indeed. From that day on, Henrietta continued to lay one golden egg every week. Granny Agnes would carefully collect them, placing them in a special basket on her kitchen shelf. The villagers heard about the magical eggs and would visit Granny Agnes, hoping to catch a glimpse of the wondrous treasures. But Granny Agnes knew that the true magic lay in Henrietta's heart. The hen had given her not just golden eggs but also companionship, laughter, and a sense of wonder. They would sit together by the window, watching the sunset, sharing stories of their adventures. As the years passed, Granny Agnes grew older, and Henrietta's feathers turned silver. But their bond remained unbreakable. When Granny Agnes passed away peacefully in her sleep, Henrietta perched on the windowsill, her mournful clucks echoing through the empty cottage. The villagers built a small memorial for Granny Agnes in her garden, planting colorful flowers and placing a stone with her name. And there, under the blooming roses, Henrietta continued to lay her golden eggs, a tribute to the love they had shared. And so, 
the tale of TH children would gather around the memorial, listening wide-eyed as their parents recounted the magical story. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between green hills and meandering streams, there lived a girl named Lily and a boy named Jack. Lily had a crow named Charlie, and Jack had a hen named Daisy. Lily and Jack were the best of friends, and so were their feathered companions. Every morning, Lily and Jack would wake up to the cheerful cawing of Charlie and the soft clucking of Daisy. Together, they would explore the village, collecting shiny stones, colorful flowers, and interesting leaves. One sunny day, as Lily and Jack were playing near the village pond, they noticed something strange. A mischievous fox was lurking nearby, eyeing Daisy with hunger in its eyes. Lily and Jack knew they had to act fast to protect their beloved pets. Thinking quickly, Jack grabbed a stick and waved it at the fox, while Lily called out to Charlie. With a loud caw, Charlie swooped down from the sky, startling the fox and sending it scampering away into the woods. Daisy let out a grateful cluck, and Lily and Jack hugged their feathered friends tightly, relieved that they were safe. From that day on, Lily, Jack, Charlie, and Daisy became even closer friends. They spent their days exploring the village, sharing adventures, and keeping each other safe from harm. And whenever they faced a challenge, they knew they could rely on the bond of friendship that united them, just like a crow and a hen, flying and pecking together through life's ups and downs.